I am going to show you how to use Clipchamp, the free video editor. I will show you all the basics. Cutting, cropping, adjusting the audio, transitions, green screen, color correction, and more. Remember that Clipchamp is an online video editor so you need internet connection. When you open Thu app click on create a video. On the first tab on the left side. The media. Here you can add your footages. You can click on add media and select them. Or you can just select and drag to the app. Second tab is record and create. Here you can make a screen record or a text to speech if you want to make a tutorial like this. The next four tabs are pre-made media which is already made for the app. Like templates for YouTube and sound effects. You can add whatever you want and adjust on it. Now drag your clip to the timeline. If you want to cut your clip, click on the split icon at the area you want to clip. After you cut it select the clip and click on delete that will remove it from the timeline. There might be an empty space you can select it and delete too. If you want to add overlay like video or photo, drag it from the media to the upper layer on the timeline. After you place it you can change the size like this and the position. Now to add text, click on text tab, you will se a lot of options, we will just use the normal text and you can try the other option yourself, drag the text to the timeline. Double click on the text and you can change the text. Type whatever you want. On the right size, you will see a small arrow click on it to open this adjusting tab. Here you can adjust on the text. You can change the font, the, st the style, the size, the align, the position, and of course you can change the color. Now if you want to add transitions, go to the transition tab and select the transition you want. Drag it between the two clips. A new adjusting tab will appear on the right side. From it you can change the transition type and the duration of the transition. When you select a clip you can flip it and rotate from this this bar on the preview pane. Now on the right side first is the volume. Here you only change the volume level and extract the audio from the video. Second tab effects. Select any effect you want and it will apply to the clip. After you select the effect you can adjust the effect strength. To make a chroma key. Down on effects you will see the green screen effect. Select it and it will automatically apply. Select the color you want and change the threshold until it's OK for your clip. On Fade tab you can add fade in and out to the clip and select the duration of it. Adjust Colors tab here you can make your color correction like the saturation and shadows. There is no formula for this you just change these parameters until you see the video is good. The last tab is Speed here you can make your clip faster or slower and by which times. make text to speech that I am using it for my videos. Go to create a new video. Then go to record and create. Select text to speech. It will open this window. In this window you will enter your text in the box. And from above you can choose the language you want and which country. This is a voice generator then you will have a lot of voices to editor. choose from. Type your text and click on the preview this button a voice to listen generator to the voice tool. in Clipchamp Video Editor. 
This is a voice generator tool in Clipchamp Video Editor. The voice I am using now is Aria. You can also type text in English and select another language like Japanese to have a Japanese accent in your voiceover if want. This is a voice generator tool in Clipchamp Video Editor. After you finish click on Save to Media. Then you can drag the audio to the timeline and you can edit on the software if you want, but I will just export the audio. It will be exported as video and you can convert it in another software or use it in your editing app and delete the black screen video. This is a voice generator tool in Clipchamp Video Editor. After you finish editing go to top of that box of untitled box and change the name of your project. Now click on export and select the quality you want and it will start exporting. After it's finished you will find your video on the downloads in your files because it's an online video editor. So that was today's video, I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.